Hey, another Michigan adventure. I'm looking for some more cool caches. And the last time I was looking for some cool caches, the Finns told me about their newest Geo Hotel, so I'm off to check it out. Come on, let's go see. We're right behind this kind of industrial complex, and we gotta go into the woods to see. It's only about 30 meters away, so let's go see if we can find it. Just on the other side of the woods is a residential complex. And this is just a little wooded barrier between this here and that. And what I'm noticing right now is a big old tree. And that would be the first place I'm gonna check out. So, oh, look at, yep, I was right. Look at it, there it is. Let's check this out. So there you go, it's a nice sizable box right on the side of the tree. We'll flip the latch, see what's inside. Lift her up. Whoa! It's a geo map! Whoa! Where's the Greyhound gonna take you? Check this out! It's so cool! Woohoo! And that's where. Whoa! Wow, look at all the trackables! Holy doodle! There were seven trackables inside that geo bus. You know, I'm gonna move one on. I think that might be interesting. And I wish I'd brought the ones I had. I left them back at the hotel room. Oh! So I'll make sure I get them back into my pockets so when I come here, I can drop one off. And we'll see where some of these are going. I'm gonna discover them and uh, leave them here for other people to take. And then we're gonna go get some more cool geocaches here in Michigan. Our last cool cache of this episode is here in Livonia, Michigan, very close to where I'm working. And this is another one by Dave and Mary. And if you haven't seen the one that we did last week on last week's episode, the last cache of that one, check this out. The link's right here. It was an awesome, awesome cache. But I, have you ever had one of these before? A geocache in a newspaper box. I've done one uh, up I-75 coming up from uh, Georgia, somewhere in Tennessee or Indiana, or I don't know, somewhere. But uh, this one requires you to have a quarter. And I even got an American quarter to make sure it works. So in order to get in, put your quarter in, push the button, and I can't get in. Back again with another quarter, because the last time I couldn't get in. So I got a fresh quarter. Let's see if we can get in this time. Here we go. I heard a click. I think we're in. Yes, we're in. And holy doodle, look at that. It's huge. Definitely a large cache. Let's see what's inside this one. There we go. We got us a, a log book and a coin. And another traveler. And some pretty good amount of swag in there. Some decent little things for the kids. I've got nothing to trade and I don't see anything in there I would take home. So I took note of the uh, trackables that were in there and I'll discover them, but I'll leave them in place for now. So, you know, remember you can do that. You don't have to take a trackable with you. You can just say you discovered it and leave it where it is. And this, uh, cache has a place you know where you put your quarter in but you get to have your quarter back there's a little slot where the quarter drops down and I got my first quarter and my second back so I'm good to go and I'm gonna put this one back in for other people to, uh, to enjoy and right here on the lid there's a uh, there's, uh, six uh, trackables to discover when you're here now I don't want to show you that that's a, too much of a giveaway but anyway Thanks for joining me on this second uh, outing for some cool geocaching in Michigan. Uh, hope to get back with Lyric Glass again and uh, we'll do some geocaching back in Canada. But for now, thanks for watching. There's more caches to be found and where will geocaching take you? Thanks for joining us.